There are six reactors here. What state they're in is unclear. What is clear, however, is that engineers are working round the clock to stop a crisis turning into a catastrophe that could affect the whole of this part of the world. Inside the evacuation zone, they're trying to restore power to the cooling systems that failed at some point after the initial earthquake. So far, the administrators have cobbled together a safety plan involving fire trucks and people. But that was always going to be a poor makeshift effort. This is a big plant and needs a proper safety system working once again. The international nuclear crisis rating has seven levels. In Japan today, it's now at level five. Basically, this isn't that complicated. They have to cool the reactors down, but they haven't a working system in place to make it happen. The next stage is to bury the lot in sand and concrete. It's only happened once before in Chernobyl, but it did work, and they may have no choice. It's hard to believe that a matter of days after one of the worst natural disasters known to man, a potential man-made calamity is overshadowing the recent past. The search teams continue to look for survivors in the midst of this quite horrendous disaster zone. In truth, there's little chance. As is often the case, you either survived or died in an instant. Japan is reeling from all of this. Its massive economy is teetering as the country tries to get going again. The earthquake was handled. The tsunami was devastating. But the potential nuclear disaster, which it will survive, could change everything in this country, maybe for the good. But right now, nothing much feels good. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Tokyo.